Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're back here at Dimmit Chevrolet in Clearwater, Florida, because guess what? We have something that has gone through a few changes. This is it. This is the refresh, updated, changed up 2022 Chevrolet Blazer. This particular one is the top premier trim. But before we get into this family-sized SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. The ship has sailed. I think we could stop you know, arguing, arm wrestling, tongue wrestling about the topic of should the Blazer be more of, like it used to be, off-road worthiness. It seems that that's been a big open gap in Chevrolet's lineup as Ford is bringing out the Broncos, obviously Jeep with the Wranglers. The Blazer was supposed to be that off-road go-to, but unfortunately, it just never was meant to be. Now, the big news is for 2023, Chevrolet is going to grow the Blazer a little bit longer to offer up three-row capacity. Now, what's interesting is that when it comes to a mid-size SUV, there's not a lot of choices out there where there's only two-row available option. Most of them have switched over to that three-row functionality. Now, comparing this Premier, this being the top trim with all the goodies, I want to compare it to one of those three row SUVs that's very similar in size to this Blazer. It's gonna be that Acura MDX. And I wanna find out, is it better to go with this updated Blazer for 2022, having that extra room in the cargo area, extra passenger room, or should you go with the Acura MDX? Let's go ahead, let's find out what's different, what's new, what's special about this 2022 Blazer Premier and see, is it the SUV you should be buying over the MDX. Let's find out. Right off the bat, all the changes are gonna really just come at you all at once at the front of the business. So refresh front fascia, front grill area on this Premier trim. You can still see they continued with the split lighting setup. So you're gonna have your daytime running lamp up here, then there's a lot of real estate, and then you find your LED projector beam headlight in the smaller area. Now the good news is, no fake vents, and you'll find that a lot of other brands, especially Hyundai, is switching over to this split headlight design. Let me know if you're still liking it or if you don't like it on the front of this Blazer, but definitely gives it a very aggressive look. And if you notice, the Trailblazer, the Traverse, the Equinox, they're all switching to this type of overall setup to make it more uniform. Now for 2022, you'll notice that they went with a new gunmetal gray finish, metallic finish on the bottom. Instead of gloss black or flat black, I really like that touch. And then coming across the grill, this grill is unique to the Premier trim. Nice large size grill. You're gonna have the chrome brow at the top with the blacked out bow tie, forward facing camera that is hidden very smartly. And then you have the simple horizontal bars gloss black with a little bit of silver to match the major amount of silver at the top. Working your way down, this is newly painted for 2022. Instead of it being the darker gunmetal metallic gray, you have a bright metallic silver finish only in the center. And I think it gives it a nice extra kind of depth of design using the different colors to make it stand out from the rest of the blazers and not make it look so Camaro-esque like on the RS Blazer. Now, when you get up onto the low slung hood, you do have your rises at each corner that kind of go towards the windshield. And then you're gonna have a peak in the center that slides all the way to the windshield as well. Now, what's interesting, if you're comparing this to the MDX, Acura uses that same kind of design philosophy when it comes to the hood and the front of the vehicle. So interesting that we're comparing these two to one another. Now, when you come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? So just like on the MDX, you get the option of 20 inch wheels. All new wheel for 2022, 20 inches in diameter. I like the way that they went with a nice cohesive design with the blacked out bow tie, just like up front. You got your metallic silver, machined aluminum finish all the way around, wrapped in our Michelin uh, Tour tires, 235 on the width, 55 series sidewall, and you'll notice the gunmetal metallic gray around the openings, no flat black to report. So I'm very happy about that. Your rotors are a little over 13 inches in diameter, of course, fully ventilated. 
and then we're going to go ahead and continue down the side. I think it was smart how they blended the reflector, the light reflector, into the actual fender trim instead of up here on the nose. Coming down the side, you're going to get color match on the mirror caps. You got your turn singles built in. And then what's great is, is that flat black around the window treatment, no gloss black. I love the way that they do the A pillar, a very strong A pillar, nice and bold with our blacked out blazer badging, a little high for my taste. I wish that they would have it right here. There's a body line that comes up. If they would have put it here, it would have went nicely with the body line, but it is what it is. I am going to zonk it though up there. Down below, you have a chrome strip to match what's happening on the front grill. And you do have probably one of the world's smallest running boards, but they are functional. They got some nice grip and that will allow the smaller people in your family, in your neighborhood to get in and out of the blazer a little bit more successfully. Now, one of the fancy touches is the chrome that they put around the door handles with the same body color black paint. We do have these bright, bright silver. It's like you need sunglasses, silver uh, roof rails, and we have the optional GM crossbars to let you see what that looks like. You could put your kayak holder up there, your cargo basket for those long family trips, working your way towards the rear. I've always liked the way they did the rear quarter window, how they have that floating roof design, all color match because we have a blacked out Premier. And then coming towards the rear, just like on the MDX, they need to get rid of these wipers. And another thing would be nice if they extended out this low roof spoiler. It looks good. I just want it to come out a little bit further to give it that nice overall balance of design. Great work though on the LED taillights. Nice shape, the way they illuminate. We got blacked out badging on the Blazer, blacked out badging on the Premier, because this is the top trim, our bow tie. And you'll notice how you don't get a lot of bumper extending out. That actually comes in really handy when you're backing up into a tight space, having it all be nice and flat. But going all the way to the bottom, what you'll find is you do have functional, not fake, but functional exhaust on both sides with the chrome trim rings. And underneath this panel here that's painted that dark gray metallic, you are gonna have your tow capability. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood on this blazer, talk numbers, and talk about towing in our Blazer Premier. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts. And what's interesting is just like the MDX, we have naturally aspirated V6 power. So underneath the hood, definitely not the sexiest engine cover, but also not the largest engine cover. It's a very small engine cover. What are we looking at? We're looking at a 3.8 liter V6, 308 horsepower. So more horsepower than the MDX, 270 pound-feet of torque. It is made it to a nine-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in about 6.2 seconds. Top speed around 130 miles per hour. The vehicle weighs 4,273 pounds and can tow up to 3,500 pounds. MPGs, 19 in the city, 27 on the highway. Now, I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, don't other Blazers have smaller engines? Yes, if you go with a different trim, you can option in a smaller turbocharged inline four, but this, when you go Premier, you are getting the naturally aspirated V6. But while we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what big things are in store in our Blazer Premier. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Chevrolet Blazer, that top Premier trim. I know we could stop the arguing. People are not arguing as much about whether this should be off-road worthy because Quite simply, it's not. And I don't think Chevrolet is going to do anything about that. Definitely not like my dad's old 79 Blazer that he used to have. But here's the great news. His Blazer did not have the nice finishes and the technology that this one has. But I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been looking at the MDXs for a while. I know how much those cost. I really kind of have not had the Blazer on my radar. But I'm curious, how much is it? MSRP, or the Premier trim is gonna be right around $49,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. There's those finishes I was telling you about. Soft touch material up top. You have that nice dark metallic gray finish. No gloss black, which is great. So you're not gonna to have to worry about fingerprints. We got the two-tone. 
with the light tan and then check out the door pocket. You have a split level there. So you could go to Checkers, get your chili dog. There's your chili dog holder up top and your Checkers burger will go in that bottom pocket and a bottle of Mountain Dew Code Purple to wash it down. We got the Bose sound system and then going from the door panel to the dash, we have some more fine finishes. I like the way they went with the round AC vents with the silver trim, matches the rest of the silver trim on the dash. Look at the little touches that they do with the piping here and the contrast stitching, all soft touch, even the contrast stitching up top. What do we have for infotainment? We have an eight inch system. Now there's pluses and minuses here. The good news is it's a touch screen, which remember the MDX does not have a touch screen. The bad news is it is smaller than the one in the MDX, but you do have your navigation, obviously Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and what blows Acura out of the water are the resolution cameras. There we are out front with trajectory. We got our 360 degree camera, and then you could easily look at those 20 inch wheels, bling, bling. And then you can look out top over the hood with your trajectory. That's technology that the MDX does not have. And then to get back home, there we are. Easy peasy. Working your way down, you got your dual climate controls, you got heated seats, ventilated seats, and just like a Chevy Camaro, you actually adjust the temperature by twisting the ring. I like touches like that. Makes it easy, not so many buttons. We don't need more buttons, we already got plenty. USB-C, USB-A, wireless charging, more of that great stitching. If you're not eating your chili dog and you wanna eat a little healthier, you got a banana holder on the side, which is great for some potassium. There's that dark gray metallic finish like on the door panel, two cup holders, your standard Chevy key fob with the gold bow tie there. Flip it around, we got remote start. You can pop the hatch remotely. This is gonna control our nine speed automatic. I like the silver trim everywhere. We got our different drive modes, which I'll show you more of that when you come to the business side of things. We got a little bit of a Tootsie Roll holder tray in here. And then I really like the way they did the materials. Look, Alcantara with the stitching. Open it up, USB-C, USB-A, and guess what, a 12 volt. Plus you could easily fit, I would say, eight He-Man figures in here. He-Man, the master of the universe, Skeletor, you can keep those figures in there. They're going up in value, so don't let your kids play with them because they're probably gonna break them. Close it up, seats. I love the leather, the piping, the Alcantara, the nice little touches everywhere, right there, just like on the dash. And then you're gonna get full power assist for the passenger and the driver. But wait, there's more. Digital rear view mirror, Acura MDX does not have that. And we also have a panoramic sunroof. All the way back, the shade goes. Look at that. And then you close it up, one touch. Look, mom, no hands. But why don't you come over here? I wanna show you where you can wrap your hands around all day long driving this blazer. Coming over the business side, I wanna show you. Hi guys, here we are, business time. There's those miniature running boards that actually do work for people who have a little bit higher to grow. Step on that running board. I like the way they got the Chevrolet nameplate here. Would have been nice if it lit up LED. That seems to be like the cool thing in the auto industry. You do have those electric seat settings, especially the lower lumbar. That's my favorite. I'm six feet tall. You know that, but I keep having to remind people, plenty of headroom, even with the panoramic sunroof, you have an electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel, heated steering wheel, and nicely leather wrap with that bronze contrast stitching all the way around. A little bit of silver. I just don't know why they go gold on the horn button with the bow tie. It should be black. Everywhere else is black. Plus, it would have been nice to have some stitching on the horn button just to make it look a little bit more premier. But there's your heated steering wheel button, easy to get to. Love the grips and then the dash. You got a combo deal. So you have your analog tack, coolant, and fuel gauge. You got a digital voltmeter and a coolant gauge in the center there. Plus, for your oil temp, and then you have the large digital display in the center. Let me show you the modes. You do have your tour mode, you do have sport mode, and you do have your snow mode. The bad thing is, it's just it doesn't do anything with the dash. It would have been cool if something would have happened with every single time you change it. But I do like the way you could change all the readouts in the center. Easy 
clear graphics, like those nice touches there, but definitely the MDX, I think, wins with their new digital dash. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see how much extra space you have in the Blazer compared to the MDX. All right, guys, back seat time, and I'm telling you, it's actually very deceiving because on the outside, you think there's not gonna be a lot of headroom in the back seat. You actually have plenty. Remember, how tall am I? Yes, yes, you're correct back there, chewing on your Twinkie right now. I'm six feet tall, not even close to the headliner or the shade for the panoramic sunroof. You got leather all the way around, good size pocket, easily put, I would say two back scratchers there. One for you, one for your friend that's riding in the back seat so they don't take yours. We got our rear AC vents with a little bit of silver trim, USB-C, USB-A, and a home power source. And then you got enough room down here, I would say for a small Nerf football. So when you're going to the park and you're gonna throw the football around, put your Nerf football there. The good news is if you got a younger brother or sister, you could hit them in the head with the Nerf football and because it's softer, it won't bruise rather than using the good old fashioned pig skin. So something to think about if you wanna peg your little brother or sister. I got my own pocket over here. Obviously, I'm gonna put a calzone because I'm freaking hungry right now. Lori won't let me eat lunch. She's telling me I gotta finish this blazer first before I eat lunch. Well, guess what, Lori? I want my freaking calzone and I want it now. Now, the great news about the back seat, yes, it slides. Wait for it, it's gonna hit you. Boom and recline very nicely. Plus, you got this great armrest. I don't know why it's so hard. It feels like an old like muffin that's been sitting outside all stale, but it does have the nice leather and you do have two large cup holders. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into that cargo area and see how much space we have for you and your family. All right guys, time to get into the cargo area. See how it stacks up against the MDX. You do have electric assist on the Premier. And just like I was telling you, because this is a two row, instead of a three row like the MDX, you get more room because there's no seat belts, there's nothing. Lots of nice space. You do have your melon holders on both sides. One place for a honeydew, one place for your cantaloupe. Of course, the seats will fold down, but how much space do we have? You're probably asking me. We have 31 cubic feet of space with the rear seat up. Fold the rear seats down and you are gonna have almost 70 cubic feet of space. What I love besides the melon holders, because who doesn't like a good melon holder, is definitely, I love the way they got handles to fold down the seats. One, two, three, look at me, boom. Seat folds down, come over to the other side. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, give me some of that. Bam, nice flat floor. You could go to Home Depot, you could get all the building materials that you need. Plus, what's also important is you do have that spare mounted underneath the cargo floor and a couple nooks and crannies for goodies for your family trip that you don't want the kids to get to before you do because you're the king of the castle. You want first dibs on the snacks and I don't blame you, but you know what? It's that time. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this Blazer Premier for a little spin. All right, guys, we're in this 2022 Chevy Blazer Premier trim. I have it in sport mode and we are off driving down the road. Right away, you're gonna like the finishes. I really think they did a great job, especially with the leather in here, compared to the other trim blazers that we brought to you here on Radies Rides. Getting to the infotainment system, very easy. You got your navigation, digital rear view mirror, clear visibility. And what's also great is I love how Chevy has safety features like the backup assist, where it actually vibrates your seat to let you know when you're getting close to clunking into something. Going down the road on the Premier trim, you are gonna get a little bit better sound deadening material and thickness of glass. That's gonna ke help keep the cabin nice and quiet for you. And even though the MDX has a full digital display, I really think that the way they have it set up in this Chevy Blazer, it's just so easy to figure out and see at a glance what the heck is going on Nice to have the ventilated seats, the heated seats, and I'm telling you, if you don't really need a third row, it's better to have the extra room in my book with this Chevy Blazer because the third row seating in the MDX is very, very, very tight. But while we go ahead, let's do a little bit of on throttle once this traffic moves out of the way a little bit. 
Our throttle, here we go. Nice. I'm telling you, this V6 has plenty of low ground, low down grunt. It pulls nicely through the rev range, which is fantastic. And then, of course, with the nine speed automatic, you're getting some nice smooth shifts out of the equation. Let me slow down again, and we're gonna go on throttle here. On throttle, here we go. Drops down and we're off and running. Really, really nice with how quickly the shifts just fire through the nine speed. Nothing too noisy, which is great too. And because it's a V6, it's not buzzy. Now, comparing it to the MDX, of course, you're gonna get a naturally aspirated V6 as, as, as well. I think this Blazer is more responsive, to be honest with you. Now, if you're hearing any kind of wind noise, remember, we do have those very high crossbars up top. That is gonna create a little bit more wind noise. But going down the highway, this thing is smooth as silk. Nice and comfy. I like the way the seats support not only on the bottom cushion, but also on the on the back portion of the seat as well. And because of the lack of a third row, your backseat passengers definitely have more room in this Blazer Premier. Getting to the infotainment system, like I said, very easy to do. There's not a bunch of glare on it, which is kind of nice. You know, sometimes the way they place these, you get a lot of glare, but not on this uh, this Blazer Premier. It's just some of the things I, I would like to see updated would be a larger screen. I mean, the eight inch system works great. The resolution with the cameras is phenomenal, but I would like to see a little bit larger screen. Also, it would be nice when I'm in a different driving mode if the gauges would change a little bit, just to help with the overall personality of each mode. But other than that, it does drive really smooth even with the 20 inch wheels. All right guys, let's see how this Blazer Premier handles in this left hand U-turn bend. Nicely planted. One, two, three, on throttle, here we go. Like I said, I don't think you're gonna be wanting for more power. I think there's plenty of power, smooth torque delivery, and lots of technology in here with all the connectivity, not only for the people up front, but also for your rear seat passengers as well. But I'm hoping that this gave you a great in-depth overview of what the Blazer Premier is bringing to the table for 2022. We're gonna get back to Dimmit Chevrolet and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, been another great day here at Dimmit Chevrolet. Definitely gotta thank Raheel, Eli, the rest of the team, getting us this 2022 Blazer Premier. You saw the changes, you saw the updates, you saw what Chevy brings to the table. Is it enough to dismount that top-selling MDX? Would you rather go with this Blazer, or are you gonna go the Acura way? Put it in the comment section, dying to hear what you have to say. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, click that link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to give it up to the queen behind the lens. Winning the awards, kicking butt, and definitely taking names. Show Lori some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.